Okay, word problems. Evan drove 308 kilometers in the same time. Okay, that, that means something important here. In the same time that Megan drove 329 kilometers. If Megan drove an average of six kilometers an hour faster than Evan, calculate her average speed and time taken for the journey. Okay, so I'm gonna build a little chart here. You're gonna see this chart show up an awful lot here. It's gonna be a distance, speed, time chart. And then we've got two scenarios here. We've got Evan and we've got Megan. Now, Evan drove 308, Megan drove 329. Okay, speed, what do we know about the speed here? Well, Megan drove on average six kilometers an hour faster than Evan. So I don't know what Evan did, but she did X plus six. Okay, so unknown for Evan, but X plus six for Megan. Now, immediately I know that the time taken was 308 divided by X. Why? Well, because that's what time is. Time is distance divided by speed. Okay, so for Megan, that will be 329 over X plus six. Now, in this case here, the question gives us additional information about time. It tells us that, that these two times are in fact the same. So what we've got here, okay, is we've got that 308 over X is identical to 329 over X plus six. Now this is an equation that we can solve, okay? Uh, it's a rational equation, so I would factor this, can't really be factored, so I'm gonna multiply by X times X plus six with the stipulation that X cannot be zero or negative six. When you do that on the left-hand side here, because it's 308 divided by X, then the X's will cancel, and we're left with 308 times x plus six. On the right hand side, because it's 329 divided by x plus six, the x plus six terms uh, factors will cancel, and we'll be left with 329 times x. Now over here, this is gonna be 308x plus, and I actually gotta do this on the calculator here. That's gonna be 308 times six is, if I'm reading that right, 1848 equals 329x. Now I'm gonna come up over here. What I'll do is I'll bring that 308x uh, term over to the right hand side. So 329 divided, uh, sorry, divided by, ugh. 329 subtract 308, okay, is simply going to be 21. So I've got 1848 is gonna equal 21x. Now I'll divide both sides by 20, whoops, by 21, and you get that x is equal to 88. So, the question is, calculate her average speed and the time taken for the journey. Now remember, x, x was Evan's speed. So Megan, Megan went six kilometers an hour faster. So Megan went 94 kilometers per hour and if you want to know the amount of time it took her, we had to plug it into here. So that's got to be 329. So her time is equal to 329 over, now remember, 94 isn't her, is, is her speed, but X is 88. So to get her time, it's X plus six. So this will be 88 plus six, which is 94. So now we go 329 divided by 94, and it took her three and a half hours.